Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is RimWorld. So last episode, um, we ended up grabbing a prisoner. We'll likely try to recruit her. It said 99% recruitment difficulty, so I imagine she will be a prisoner for a while. Um, I had just mentioned earlier that it would be nice to have a prisoner so that we could increase some of our social skills, uh, get better deals with traders and things like that. So that's pretty positive. Um, I also laid out another area for a geothermal generator. I'm gonna hook up some batteries to this system um, pretty early on, I hope, and uh, just have a load of extra power coming in for the deep drill that I want to install and the ground penetration scanner so this is the direction that I want to go for sure We still need quite a few granite blocks to finish that off and to get on doing this. Yeah, I hooked up the wire already. I think one thing that I would like to do is throw a power switch in. I know if this is turned off that um, this generator won't be sending anything through here. And I may have a, another idea for that, actually. We'll see. Okay, so we got some more pirates from the gray porcupines. Uh, they want to use sappers to tunnel around. Let's see what's going on here. It's like about seven of them. A couple of melee guys, one Molotov, and the rest look like they have guns. I imagine it's probably going to be similar to the last time this happened, and they're just going to come right at us. They may come through here as well, so I can set up a few guys around that area. Okay, so I want stole over here probably. Let's see. Well, stole can come into here, so he can get to both sides. Crystal as well. Uh, Talia down here. I'll stick Baffin over here, I think. Uh, seedlings can go up here. Barrow can come back here. Fall can come up here. And Wang can come over here. Yeah, it looks like they're coming straight in. left one there. It looks like we have an unconscious person here. e -teeny. A boss of the gray porcupines, huh? Age 15. Huh. Interesting. A little bit of crafting experience. A little bit of growing passion. Yeah, so we'll definitely capture this guy. He's an abductee, indeed. And we've got this guy as well. He's got a huge passion for artistic. A little bit of mining, that would be kind of nice. Um, he's unable to craft, but he has a decent medicine skill as well. Annoying voice, neurotic, slowpoke. I might uh, just keep him around to talk to. There we 
think. Yeah. Um, so I think I will have seedlings can go ahead and capture Kyle there. Everybody else can get to business as usual. These two are going to make it out alive. You're lucky. Okay. I think it only has to be as long as this, I'm not sure. I'll cancel that one. Okay, there's a constructed roof here, so our battery should be fine going in there. Just try to build a whole bunch of them. Um, it's possible I might want to close this in so I can regulate the temperature there and then um, Yeah, if I can regulate the temperature a little bit, I'll keep them from exploding in case of the heat waves and stuff like that. So uh, let's take a look at our structure. Okay, we've used up. Oh no, I see them now. Granite blocks, just right across here. Then I'll put a uh, regular door out of granite on there. Go back to power. Build one more like that. And give them a walkway to come down. I don't think we can make this one here. Yeah. We'll cancel this one. Throw this battery vertically right there. And just add one more uh, power conduit inside. So those will all be connected. I could run it straight through and I could even power the door from here, but uh, I think we'll just leave it a regular door. Let's take a look and see uh, what are the hit points on these. A hundred? And for the regular doors it's 425. So that'll be a stronger door in case somebody gets the idea to come in through this direction and mess up our power and stuff. Uh, this way I can have a power switch up here. I can turn off the access. I'll even put it inside. I can turn off um, getting power from this generator, but it'll still be attached to these batteries. So I could leave it uh, turned off to charge these up. Um, in case the power goes out or something like that, and then hook it back into the system. It makes sense to me. <laughs> okay, we've got the deep drill here, extracting minerals. not sure which one I should uh, set up first. Hmm. Let me think about that. Requires a lot of electricity. I wonder if these need to be roofed as well. It would kind of make sense that they would need to be roofed.
but I don't know that they would necessarily need to be fully enclosed. So let's just grab a couple of pillars. I'll leave a little bit of space there. That should be fine. Yeah, it's pretty small, that one. The drill's not much bigger. Okay. That ought to do. And then let's make sure there's a conduit coming out to reach both of those. I don't know if they hook remotely or, or not. It didn't really look like they do. Oh, it looks like it wants to connect to this one, so it will... Yeah, I could just about take out that cable there. I think I will. And then add the scanner to the side here. It doesn't look like it needs a, a spot for it. This thing has a spot underneath it. I might have to move it over one, though, because this seemed to have a, a border around it of some kind. So if we do have to move it over, that's, that's totally fine. As a matter of fact, I think I will. Nope. I'll drop that one in there, and then we can attach the drill over here, I think. Like this. Okay, we've got uh, the ability to build incendiary IEDs now. That's good. The price on these still hasn't gone down. It, uh, it's still a spacer level uh, project tech. And we're still in the industrial level. I haven't read up on uh, what we do to advance here. I was wondering though if it had to do with the constructed um, technology that we have available to us. So if we get these built I wonder if that'll allow us to do that. I believe this is close enough to sustain a roof all the way across. For sure. Okay. So now we're probably just lacking in um, components. That's definitely our most pressing resource need right now and of course granite as well both of those we can get through the stockpile here um, it really looks like they're bringing in more slate than granite which is fine but uh, we really need the granite more I never did set the uh, priorities for these guys do friendly chat on both of them for now. Itini is healing. It looks like he would be easily recruited and he has a decent crafting skill to start out with. I think we have enough cooks but he also has growing ability, which I think we have enough growers as well. Stole is the master. But I guess if he had to work less, then he would be able to do artwork as well. Oh, they've stored uh, weapons in the equipment rack. Well, that's what, that's what it's for, you know. Good job, guys. 
I only want it for the water shells though. I could set those up now um, to be built. It might be a good idea. I really want to get this done first though. And I don't know if having these things in the middle here, if they're closer to components, if they'll use them for this first. If they'll continue to build these. I still can't remember who the next closest crafter is uh, to Talia. Okay, Barrow's at level 10 now, so she's able to craft components. NG. What does she do most of the time? Okay, she has a crafting at one. Also cooking at one. I'm going to take her down off of cooking a little bit. So that she'll prioritize other things first. Yeah, she's a foundry midnight. I would think that her crafting skill would be pretty good. She has a few items to trade, that's good. We'll see what she's got when she's in here. Tini is our friend already. That's good. Uh, he's already inside the stockpile here, so I'm going to get him some weapons. It looks like his shooting skill is only one, so I want to get him something that's pretty accurate. Give him the assault rifle. Uh, and I'll put him on hunting as well, so he has every chance to upgrade that. And then I, I want him on crafting, even though he doesn't have a passion for it. Um, just because we need it so badly. I'll probably have his growing at like a 2. It's a firefighting 1. Patient up. Uh, doctor he can do. Yep, wardening. Okay. I believe that'll do. Oh, he already gets a power armor helmet? Lucky. Okay, she's selling components at an absolutely ludicrous price. She's brought 128 silver. <laughs> this cracks me up every time I see it. Psychic foil helmet. It's probably a good investment. <laughs> selling this go juice. Shouldn't have quite enough, but that's fine. I can't remember if we have anyone who has a uh, chemical interest, but if we do, it might as well not be here. It's like some yayo is made. That's still a bill that we have set up in it. Yes. So we do need to start looking for buyers for that. We're going pretty well out here. There's still uh, clearly not a surplus of cotton available, cloth. And so 
we'll keep this growing for now. We do have a surplus of hay right now though. So that needs to be tended to. We could also start selling some beers because they're starting to take up room in our stockpile as well. Goodbye Vera, enjoy your go juice. Yeah, these are just short on components. We still have 200 steel in the inventory, which isn't too bad. And we still have tons of chunks here to smelt. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a load out in this direction as well. I don't think they've gotten this far uh, for hauling yet. It's all free steel right there. It's not a whole lot per chunk, so it's, uh, you're better off mining out the steel, but if we have animals set up to haul it over here, then I don't mind setting it. Yeah, I'm not interested in setting up a research project yet. Um, seedlings? has the ability to craft, but her crafting skill is absolutely terrible. That might be good, she might uh, prioritize really simple stuff that she could do. Um, so I do believe I'm going to have to throw her onto a 1 on crafting, just to get her doing something, because she has uh, research prioritized overall, so right now she's kind of low on priorities. Oh, we got our crops destroyed, which is not ideal. It looks like we have quite a few in here, but I constantly worry about running low on food, especially with as many colonists as we have. Oh no. Piglet 3. Oh. Burned to death in a fire. Struck by lightning, no less. Well, Piglet 3. Baffin's already doing work on this wall. We still need this one done. Pretty badly, though. I'm really surprised that those sappers didn't attack this electrical cable exposed right here. I guess they were closer down to this area, so they uh, just came and attacked us through this direction. It's been working ideally ever since we built it, so this is a pretty surefire way to keep your colony safe. Even if you wanted to move the turrets back so that they would have uh, more range and more time before the enemies could get to them, that would probably be even more ideal. Um, I could also add another turret like in this area here that could shoot over here as well. I may do that uh, if we start seeing increased difficulty in defending our base, but I think with the number of people that we have right now, we should be pretty good. I wonder if um, I wonder if keeping prisoners incites them to attack because I know yeah Nicole was from the gray porcupines as well. I wonder if that increases their likelihood of wanting to destroy me. They're at negative 100, so we are pretty hardcore enemies. Trying to see exactly what we've got going on right now. Oops. A fault in the electrical conduit is what we've got going on. Oh, and it's way out here. It's a shame. It's good that this is automatically set to the home zone, though I would have completely forgotten about it. Wild Boar 8 was burnt a little bit there. Oh, uh, Baffin and Talia got into a fight. Talia probably insulted him. Let's see. Was insulted by 
Baffin, was insulted by Fall. Oh wow. Why is everyone being mean to Talia, guys? I'll need to lighten up. I hope that she doesn't deconstruct that wall to build that and just leave it deconstructed for a long time waiting on components. Good, Barrow is making some components. I always make fun of her for uh, leaving her unfinished works on the benches and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's because of her dementia. She'll just suddenly start wandering around confused and not remember what she was working on and stuff. We are getting granite blocks turned out, looks like. So that's definitely a positive thing. I imagine one of these, yeah, a few of these have gotten burnt up, so I need them rebuilt. Looks like it's going pretty well. Wow. We just have far too many wild boar. There might be panthers out there, but I didn't see any. We've got two batteries built. It's pretty decent. While you guys are working together, why don't you, you know, Complement each other on your construction skill. Or are you going to be insulting each other? Eh. I really need to take care of these animal numbers, though. Look at all those wild boars. Look at them. Dante needs to calm down, that's for sure. Um, I think I'm going to have to go through here, get rid of some of these. I think that was about all of them. It's sad, but it needs to be done. I'm sorry, guys. It does provide us with plenty of meat, though. Which is good. It looks like we have no meat, but uh, that's just disappeared down here. I'm pretty sure there's a mod that makes it where these are drop-down menus of different uh, varieties of materials and stuff like that. I need to find that and install it, because it would make everything a lot easier as far as keeping track of my stockpiles. Get it. All of them? Four of them are pregnant right now. And we have so many smaller ones as well.
All these pigs are able to haul already. Oh yes, that needs to be done. Actually, to be honest, I need to get rid of some of them as well. I'm sorry guys. I just have way too many pigs. Even the females, it's true. It's partially because you don't know how to haul things. But it's also because I just have way too many animals. Did I just... Okay. Good. Man. You know what I've just realized as well? That's the slaughter button right there. So I could have had such an easier time of figuring this out. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to make sure and catch the next episode, feel free to subscribe. Um, if you'd like to support the efforts that I've made to bring content, you could do so through the Patreon logo. And be sure to check out any of my other playlists and videos that you might be interested in. I thank you for any time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.